Yes, so welcome to video number two. In video number one, I shared with you my own journey of how I even became a coach, right? I told you about how in the past I was an overachiever, like, you know, graduated at the top of my class, first class honors, you know, got awards from the Canadian government, worked for worked in policy for youth, in youth advocacy, tons of amazing accomplishments. But then there was that time in Paris I shared with you. If you haven't watched it yet, head back over to video one and check it out. But I shared with you how in Paris I was broke as crap, like just broke. And how that was the turning point for me that made me realize that the work I'm putting out into the world must be compensated. And so maybe that's where you are right now. You're a great coach. You're great at what you do. You're really passionate about it and you're actually good at it. But somehow when it comes to being an entrepreneur and making it a business, you are failing or flailing, right? And so in this video, in this video, I'm going to share with you the one major tweak I made that brought me from that day on, in Paris where I threw my bags on the floor and decided enough was enough, right? And of course, the day after that, I was homeless. But, <laughs> but anyway, what I'm going to share with you in this video is the number one thing that I, the number one um, you know, change I made after finding the way to invest in that high-level coaching program. So there I was, I invested in this high-level coaching program and I was working with this coach and it was just incredible this experience because she knew her stuff, her story really resonated with me, she herself was an overachiever, she had also gone through this broke phase like what I was going through and so I could really relate to her and her journey. But then here I was in the program and she was teaching me everything I needed to know. I was giving all the, given all the tools, like she wasn't holding anything back. It was a really high level program. So she was giving me what I needed to know. But I stopped myself because I became invisible. Now in video one, I shared with you how much I was an overachiever, but I was also a social butterfly. I used to host events, I was a pageant girl, I used to even train people in pageants on how to be confident and fierce and rock the runway and how to answer questions boldly and captivate the audience to win pageants, right? I was a social butterfly. I was called by my friends the vibes master. I used to host concerts and events and competitions because I was the vibes master. So it was quite natural. But here I was as a coach brand new to coaching and I didn't know anything about coaching, right? I knew about social work. I knew how to help people get breakthroughs. I knew about business because I used to do marketing. I was a marketing representative for Huggies Diapers and for Carlo Rossi Wines um, back in the day, you know, as if I'm old. But back in the day, I was a, a marketing representative. And I also, during my, my first years of my 20s, I spent years teaching millennials how to start and launch businesses. So yeah, I knew about business and I know about marketing and I was like a social butterfly and an overachiever, uh, but it wasn't translating into my coaching business. Why? Because I became invisible. People think that only introverts, you know, are afraid to put themselves out there or are afraid to put themselves in the game. That's not true. Extroverts have that problem too. And my problem was that I was new to coaching. I didn't know if I was doing it right. I wasn't sure if I could really get people results, even though I was already, I worked with 600 individual millennials, one-on-one, -on -one, 600 of them, and they got results. So in my conscious mind i knew i could get results but subconsciously i felt like who am i right i'm too young i have an accent i'm from the caribbean like all these reasons why i'm not good enough or i'm not enough to get there right also knowing that a couple weeks before i was broke and homeless <laughs> um i felt like i'm on i felt like i was unworthy and so that feeling of being not worthy really caused me to hide in a hermit crab shell I stayed small, I nobody knew who I was, nobody knew what I did, and I just wasn't, I just wasn't getting there, right? So maybe you are doing all these free webinars, maybe you've watched all these free webinars, you've downloaded all these free PDFs, you're watching this video series, you're listening to all these audios, but you just have not been able to have the mindset and the implementation to actually get you the results, right? Because there's no lack of knowledge. Half of you watching this video right now, or if not 99.99% of you watching this video right now, you already have an idea of what you, what you need to do, 
but you're not being visible. And so that was the first big shift. Now, for me, it was being visible. Now, to get visible, there were a number of things that went under that. So yeah, visibility is the shift, but under that shift, it's kind of like, let's say visibility is a chocolate cake, but in that chocolate cake, you gotta have eggs, flour, sugar, milk, oil, you gotta have an oven, you gotta have, you know, fire, whatever, to make the chocolate cake, right? And so there I was, I made that visibility shift. But in getting that visibility shift, there were a number of steps, specific steps that I had to take. One was, you know, the mindset. One of them was actually following a strategy because of course my coach was giving me all these strategies and it was a group coaching program. So it wasn't as if I was able to get a one-on-one -on -one -on -one support. And so there are many, many, many things that went into visibility, but I can share with you the scenario of when I went to a live event back in 2014 was in Miami, you know, it was at the Ritz Carlton, big fancy hotel and everything. I was so excited to be there. But whenever the coach would say, you know, go mingle, go meet each other, go network with each other, I would hide in the bathroom. Like, how pathetic was I, right? I would go in the bathroom and I would hide until the crowd died down and then I would go back to my hotel room because I didn't want anybody to see me or notice me or to, to notice, you know, how how sad I felt, right? And none of those other people, people who were getting results were smarter than me. They weren't more talented than me. They, I, like, they weren't better than me, but I made them better than me because I made myself small. I started to compare myself to them and started to feel as if, oh, she can do it because she's from this country or she, she doesn't have an accent or she has, um, you know, a husband who can pay for it for her or, you know, she she has a job, you know, a six-figure job that, that can pay for it for her or all these excuses as to why I wasn't good enough. And I really had to drop that shit. Like, seriously, I, I don't like cursing for you guys, but I had to drop the crap. I had to just let go of that garbage because it wasn't true. It really wasn't true. I had potential too, but I was playing small. And so where are you playing small right now? Maybe you are the best at what you do, but you are not being visible on social media. Maybe you are not being visible in your sales process. Maybe you don't even tell people. Maybe you even get on discovery calls with people and you know you can help them and then you just don't even invite them to work with you. Right? Are you being invisible in your sales? Maybe you're being invisible by not investing in your business. Maybe you're being invisible because you won't invest in a coach and you know you need the extra support. Maybe you're being invisible because you won't follow the strategies that you already know work. How many times have persons told you do webinars, do challenges, post in Facebook groups, do Facebook ads, but you haven't done it because you're afraid of being visible. And that's why I created the, the Client Magnet Mastermind because it really is a visibility bootcamp and an implementation incubator. There's no fluff in this program. It's not going to be a bunch of theory. And of course, I'm going to talk to you a bit more about this program later down. If you want, you can click the button below this video to check it out. But I would advise you to watch video three first. Just watch all the videos in the video series first before you get there. All right. Um, and so visibility, being visible. There are a lot of things that go into visibility, you know, the mindset and all of that. But I really had to let go of the not feeling worthy. And by working with my coach, I actually found out that, that my fear of visibility was not just about being judged. Because of course a part of it is you want people to like you, you don't want people to judge you or think you're too much or think you're too boastful. But for me, one of the reasons I was afraid of being visible was because I thought I would be killed. I have saw in the past people who I knew actually lost their lives because they shared with the world the good things that were going on in their lives. And so that taught me at an early age to be secretive, to hide your successes, to hide your pains as well, to hide everything about yourself and to just be really secretive, not be vulnerable, right? It taught me that because I learned that that was a way of being, of surviving. And so I felt like if I went out in the coaching industry and told people about my stuff, they would one, either not like me because I wasn't good enough or not like me because I was too boastful or too, too, too show off. I didn't want to be a show off, right? How many of us have been told, ah, you're too much, you know, calm down, stay quiet, be small, be modest. 
how many times have we heard that? I'm right now. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm gonna hashtag own it. If that's who I am as a person, I'm gonna be that person. If I'm irresistible, fierce, fearless, sexy, um, outgoing, crazy, I'm gonna be that way. And so I really had to own my truth and be myself and realize that my ideal clients would be attracted to that anyway. So you're watching this video because you like what you saw in the first video or you liked what you saw in the introductory video that got you to opt in for this anyway or you liked my brand maybe you're in my community you're in my email list whether it was a name or the picture but something spoke to you something grabbed you something hooked you and that was only able to happen because i began to be true to myself so yes I believe in strategy and in the next video I'm going to share with you the specific strategies and techniques and how you can actually get the results like specific step by step not many people share that with you but I'm going to share that with you not the not the not the what but the actual how I'm going to share that with you in the next video so Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, again, there's a button below to check out the Client Magnet Mastermind, but I wanna invite you to click um, the button that invites you to watch video three. Watch that video first, and then we'll talk more later about the Mastermind program.